I've always loved this song, Beautiful Savior. It's a great way to begin our prayer together here at the God Minute. I'm Father Ron Hoy. Thank you for taking the time and for praying with us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. O Lord, open my lips, and my my mouth shall shall declare your your grace. Psalm 14, Trusting God Our great God is forever searching for those who live their lives for Him. He sees denial and rebellion in the lives of all people. What good they do is tainted by sin and self-centeredness. Our conflict needs healing and direction. He is not looking for verbal professions alone, but active, living testimonies of faith. It is obvious that God works through those who trust in Him, through those who dedicate their lives to His service. So I turn to you, my God and Savior. Fill me with your light, that I may see the path of holiness. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 17. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have come not to abolish, but to fulfill. The Word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. God. Do you recall the last time you wanted something in your life to end? Perhaps you felt tired or burdened by it. Or maybe you were ready for a change and needed to transition to something different and new. Of course, there are times when the new we want is to avoid something. We tell ourselves that we are ready to move on, when in fact we are not ready to confront and take care of what needs our attention. I think these attitudes of avoidance and denial uh, play also in today's reading. Jesus tells his disciples and us that he has come not to abolish the law or the prophets. So, if we are looking for an easy way out, good luck. It's not going to happen. Far from it. Avoidance, denial, Escape from responsibility are not options with Jesus. Following Jesus can never be a matter of low standards. It's helpful to recall here that these words from Jesus come after the Sermon of the Mount. He has just finished telling the crowds and the disciples the standards and virtues that are expected of those who are near to him. He says, we must seek poverty of spirit, mercy, peace, courage amid persecution. We must thirst and hunger for righteousness. Far from abolishing these standards, Jesus encourages us to set our eyes on what is truly life-giving for us and others. To be peacemakers, to practice mercy, to be courageous when things are not easy helps us not only transform ourselves, but our world as well. As followers of Jesus' mission, as missionary disciples, We are called to go out into the peripheries and to encounter one another with the best of grace and the truth of the Spirit. Let us not forget that we are called to be the salt of the earth and the light of the world. 
as scripture reminds us. But if salt loses its taste, what can make it salty again? Similarly, no one lights a lamp to put it under a tub. They put it on the lamp stand where it shines for everyone. Transitioning to this new reality in Jesus requires effort on our part. As salt and light for others, we come closer to fulfilling the law and the prophets. Today, Matthew invites us to embrace the old in new ways. The old prophets and the law are not erased or canceled. They find new direction in us. Will you embrace this mission? Will you transition into this new life in Jesus with confidence? We believe that Christ's Spirit and grace are with us to help us accomplish what is asked of us. May our prayer be a source of strength and motivation to take the necessary first steps to the transformation that awaits us in Christ Jesus. As we recognize the blessings in our lives, we also know of the needs and the prayers that we give to Jesus. And so let us do that now as a community of faith, as we pray the Our Father together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and And forgive forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Amen. And so we pray. Loving God, you know my heart's desires. I lay them before you. Let your will be done. We ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. This is the favorite part of my day, praying with all of you. Thank you, and may God's blessing be upon you now in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow.